What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of How to Thursday, even though it's Sunday, I'm going to show you guys how to create the Matrix look. For this tutorial I decided to use this image because the scene resembles a little bit from the matrix if you ask me. Let me show you guys where I base my colors off which is this picture right here. Now I've already created a snapshot from this and I'll show you guys what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that these colors are going to match the colors of the matrix. Now let me show you guys how that looks. There you go. I've just clicked the snapshot in order for me to be able to do this and the original one. So this is very natural, this isn't. Now what we need to do is we need to decide where these colors are in the color zones module. So for that we need to go to this source picture. I'm going to deselect snapshot. And I'm going to open up the color zones module. It's in the color group. If you don't see it, please go to more modules. I recommend you just adding this to your favorites because we will be using this a lot more in the future as well. And I'm just going to pick the color picker I'm just going to place it on the skin like so and that means that the skin tone colors are over here which are usually the mid-tones. Now let's see where the shadows are. They are a little bit more in the teal type area in the greens. Let me see over here. Yeah, as you can see most of the colors are based around the green except the shadows. They lean more towards the teal. So that's what we need to focus on. So let's just say we are going to add greens uh, in the highlights and the midtones, and we're going to add some teal or some blues in the shadows. So let me go back to the image that we're going to use. Let me close down the color zones module because we won't be using this. And we're going to the favorites group. And we are going to start with the RGB curve module. If you don't see this module, it's because I'm using 2.7, a beta version, and you guys probably are using the stable 2.6 version. Let's go to the basic group menu and let's place this in the favorites, like so. So now it's in my favorites. Open it up and then use uniformly, which is this right here. And for blend mode, click either red green or blue if you pick red right now you need two more modules so you can do that by clicking this little symbol right here hit new instance and then do it again and then go to uniformly put place the other one on green and place the other one on rgb blue channel and then you can follow along with this tutorial i'm going to remove this from my favorites i'm going to deactivate it because i won't be using this but in essence it's the same as the rgb curve module but that just has everything in one by going to mode and then RGB independent channels. And now I can pick red, green and blue. And like we saw a minute ago, there are blues in the shadows, which means if I pull this upwards, red is going to be introduced. And if I pull it down like this, reds are being extracted and blues are being introduced. So I'm going to click this point and then place it in the middle like so. And I kind of want to do the same with the highlights as well. So I'm going to drop them down like this and the next in line is the green one so let's open it up and we are going to add lots of greens in order for us to achieve the matrix look we're going to do that throughout so in the shadows in the midtones and in the highlights so let's just place it up like this let's just see what happens going to drag the highlights towards here maybe that's a bit too much so let me drop it down just a tad bit like so and now what's left to do is change the blue channel i want to uh, increase the blues in the shadows but i want to decrease them in the highlights so i'm going to drop it down like so and now what we're going to do is we're going to use the tone curve which is in the tone group menu let's open it up and let's just create a small s curve to create a little bit more contrast like so now the image is really standing out if you ask me. And the next module that we're going to use is the color zones module, which is in the color group menu. So let's open it up, let's activate it. And we need to change two things. We need to change the saturation and we need to change the hue, but we're going to keep the select by on you. So first let's just change the saturation a little bit. I want to change the saturation of the skin tone. So let me just click on it with the color picker skin tones are over here let me check where this one is at same area 
same area so now let's just click and add a point like so and just drag it down a little bit there we go and now i want to add another point and drag it back up so it's nice and straight again i think this looks pretty fine so i'm going to keep this as is i'm going to change the hue and let's see what happens i want to change the hue over here so i'm going to drag it down just a little bit but i want to keep the rest as is so i'm going to add another point and move it back up again so the line is nice and straight another thing i want to change is the exposure because it's a little bit dark so let me just open up the exposure module activate it just add a little bit there you go now let's just click on the snapshot again that i've made a minute ago and let's compare both of them so now the skin tones kind of match it's a little bit more saturated over here i can always change that a little bit but what i do see is a lot of blues in the shadows same like here and i need some more greens in the mid tones if you ask me so i'm going to deselect the snapshot again make sure you click the last setting that you've used if you click over here and you're going to change something then everything else that you've done is going to be erased so go back to the exposure let's go to the rgb curve module and what i want to do is i want to add more greens and let's see this is between the shadows and the midtones this is between the midtones and the highlights and i think the midtones need a bit more green so let's see what happens if i drag this up a little bit there we go more green has been added to the image let me compare that to the matrix image and i'm absolutely satisfied how this looks so let me deselect this one so that we've got the full image again this could be an image straight out of the matrix if you ask me and i think it looks great and that's it i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comment section down below i would love to hear your thoughts that's it for this week i'll see you guys next thursday and i guess there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!